おーはいおーはいおーはいフードはギフトのクレーターですから、それは、このようなものを作ることができます。The earth and heaven. And to bring this together, we need help not only for people to grow, like the farmers, but also the nature spirits and the, the spirits of the elements. So, water has a spirit, fire has a spirit. And so, you have this collaboration. If they all work together and everyone is happy, Then the plants will grow very happily. So you help to bring the earth power, give it to the plants so the plant can grow. The flowers and later become the seed. Uh, you can let it grow. See, there's all the power, all the power goes into the seed.、Uh, the food for the mind, for the emotions, for the spirit. Uh, that had to be incorporated in the growing of food. So you cannot just grow food mechanically because it looks like a lot, a、oh, lot of protein, a lot of vitamins. But how about、uh, the spirit,、okay. the subtle energies? So we have feelings, we can think, where's it coming from?、Okay. And that comes from food. Spirit is a Is, we also have a spirit, it's a connection with、uh, the infinite ocean, with the Creator. See? So every drop of the ocean, right, it has a spirit. But that drop is、um, one with the ocean. So if you put the drop back to the ocean, you're one with the Creator.、Right? So we have a temporary experience, like a, on a drop, but in the end, we all go back. To the ocean. We incorporate in a way of eating the totality, the spirit of the clouds, the rain, the rivers, they all have spirit. See, because they all connect with the ocean. All is one. And that is the first truth and the ultimate truth. All is one. And we have to know how to maintain this oneness. And when we don't, then we have war. Disease, problems, difficulties. We have to be really, really respectful for everything, but plants, especially because the plants、um, bring us very close to not only nature but the universe and beyond. Ahora la gente lo reconoce como Roy Littleson Center, porque es la esencia, Roy, de este centro. Él es el que inició con la semilla este lugar, en el cual las gentes vienen a recordar que a través del alimento podemos trascender de este plano. Aquí, en el medio de un gran campo, están creciendo wheat. The many grains, and why is the grain so important for the for the human? Because the grain is a universal food, and so we need to have、uh, the total relationship with creation,、um, and that is by the grain because the grain has the total memory. It's a total. It's a universal food, and we are a universal being. So the connection、uh, between creation outside and creation inside is. Outside the grain, and that grain, when we eat, becomes our blood. Okay, so the sun、uh, correlates with our heart, and all the stars correlate with our body cells. So, similarly, as all the stars communicate with, with light inside, when that food becomes the blood, the blood communicates、uh, between the heart, the sun, and all this, the stars inside. For the restoration, Um, reconstructing of the world.、Uh, we have to eat again the whole sear grain as our main food. 
So when the digestive process is complete, we can fully assimilate, then that memory, the link here, the, the link, that is memory, is released in the blood. Then the blood goes to the heart. That's what our surface. And from the heart to the brain, to the mind. So from here we become conscious, right? And we start to remember who we are. If you go back to the source, but the source is inside. We have integrated this. Humanity has forgotten. Doesn't know how to maintain that synchronicity between the outer and the inner, between creation outside, creation inside, according to the law of the Creator. Y luego con el chamanismo trabajamos toda la parte del inconsciente y de todo ese emocional que todavía nos tiene limitados en este plano y no podemos seguir evolucionando ni recuperar nuestro poder como creadores que somos. The corn grows not only by rain and by the soil, but by prayer. Growing corn in, in Hopi land, in the high desert, it's not just putting seed in the soil. You really have to put your whole soul into them. So now we're coming to the last battle of humanity. And that battle had to be won from within. And how do you win? The dark side win by chemistry, by reaction, conflict. And the creator wins by opposites unifying. So it is the battle inside, either we unify the mind and the heart or separate it. By the separation, the mind controls the heart. By the union, the heart controls the mind. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Rise with the rising sun. Listen to the heart. We are one. We are one. We are one.